Hello guys and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Today, and as you can see we have already launched off the pad, I don't have a build montage for this video uh, because this is sort of an old clip. It was recorded a couple weeks ago so didn't have the build montage. But as you can see it's a shuttle and we aren't going anywhere in this video but we are deploying some small relay satellites that we will deposit in low carbon orbit. Not a big video for today. If you watched my uh, last video on Val, uh, we went to Val and uh, researched some cryovolcanoes. Cool video, you can check it out. But I said we were going to Moho and down the Mohole. But we aren't doing that. Uh, we were going to do that, but the craft was having some serious problems. For some reason, the center mass was off because the fuel wasn't really draining right. I couldn't really figure it out in time for today's video. So we're just using a small shuttle and depositing some small satellites into low carbon orbit for a little sort of mini guide, I guess. This isn't really a guide on how to fly shuttles, but I did want to make it a little bit of a guide on how to land them back at the KSC. So we will be doing that and we will be landing it back at the KSC. So there were a few problems with the uh, deployment of the satellites. One, um, because this video is a little bit older, um, I made some mistakes here. I forgot to put reaction wheels on the craft, uh, the probes themselves, and so they won't be able to control themselves because I forgot that the tiny little probe uh, probe cores uh, do not have any uh, reaction wheel capabilities. So that kind of sucks. Also, the uh, probe craft that deploys everything, as you can see, it's flying up out of the payload bay now runs out of electricity before I manage to get all of the uh, the probes out. So we'll only be able to get three out of those four out. Also, the deployment's not really great. But this is more of a little filler episode to hopefully, you know, I don't want to end my daily upload schedule, but it's not really a main episode because, as I said, I'm still working on that Moho episode for tomorrow, hopefully. So we're just stitching these probes, and I'm sort of confused here I'm like why why isn't it deploying and then I realize oh yeah it's out of electricity so we'll switch back to that shuttle and uh, close those bays and we will go and land at the Kerbal Space Center so it's all about timing so I would really recommend quick saving about a quarter of an orbit before you hit the KSC okay and I'm going to uh, be right in that middle of the bay on the continent to the west of the Kerbal Space Center we're going to lower our periaps uh, all the way to just off the coast of the Kerbal Space Center, as I think it's about a good spot. Now, you're, you should uh, know it's pretty decent if you're re-entering off the coast on the western side of the uh, continent that the Kerbal Space Center is on. We just want to create a decent glide ratio. If you think you're going to undershoot it, you want to lower your nose so that you're not uh, creating so much drag. And if you think you're going to overshoot it, you want to create as much drag as possible to slow down in time. So this took about two or three attempts for me. Um, I, one time I got pretty close, but I flew over it. And the other time uh, I landed just off the end of the runway. But I really wanted to show you guys that you can, in fact, land on the runway, even though just off the end is pretty decent. I did want to show you guys that you can land on the runway. So you can see it looks like I'm going to overshoot it here, right? So I pointed my nose all the way up to create drag, and now I'm pointing it all the way down in the correct direction so that I can go into a bit of a nosedive uh, because that is the direction where I create the least aerodynamic drag is in a nosedive. And so we're going to descend, and we want to sort of nose up right at the last minute before we're touching the runway. So you can see we're descending, and I got a decent speed we are going to be hitting the runway relatively fast. Uh, I think we ended up hitting it at like 150 meters per second, which is sort of fast for a space shuttle, but we do have drug shoots, so we're able to slow down in time. And you can see our glide ratio looks perfect. We're coming in right there, and we're lined up. If you're not in a perfectly equatorial orbit when you're coming down, it's going to be really hard. So I'd recommend trying to get a decent equatorial orbit and then making your anti-normal and normal adjustments on your descent so that you can uh, line up for the runway. So we're coming in decently high speeds, 
but it's looking pretty clean and we have that decent uh, glide ratio. We're gonna land, uh, lower our landing gear at the last possible minute, just like the real space shuttle does, just for a little uh, hint of realism. So we're uh, coming down, wait for it, wait for it, and I notice I think I'm going slightly to the right, so I just wanna line up perfectly. We're coming in at a decent speed, only deploy your drow shoots once you're already on the runway, or else you might uh, cause some drag, you might flip over, it could be a serious problem. So we got those gear down and touchdown and quickly deploy those drone shoots and we are coming to a stop. So thank you guys for watching. This was just a quick little video until I can get the Moho episode out tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day. See ya.